Hello students, I hope you all are fine. Today we will do solve worksheet on play with patterns. So first see the first one. Complete the patterns. Here in these way patterns will be given to you and you have to complete the patterns like fill in the blanks. Okay, if you see the first one here two arrows are given and both the arrows are pointing upwards. And the next one both the arrows are pointing towards the right hand side. And after that both the arrows are pointing downwards. So the next arrow will be pointing leftwards. And the very next one the two arrows will point upward. In the next one see 5, 10, 15. In this type of patterns at first you have to understand the sequence of the pattern. Like if you see it is a table of 5. 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. 5, 3 is a 15. So here it is a table. So 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 3 is a 15, then 5 4 is a 20, then 5 5 is a 25. Okay. See the next one. 10, 20, 30. So you can easily say what will be the next. It will be 40. It is also a table of 10. 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20, 10 threes are 30, 10 fours are 40, then 10 fives are 50. It is a table of 10 and also it is increasing by 10. 10 plus 10, 20, 20 plus 10, 30. So you can see both the patterns here. Next one, 2AB, 4CD, 6EF. In this type of patterns, you can see numbers are given as well as alphabets are also given. So, at first we will see the number, how the numbers are increasing. So, see, at first there is 2, then 4, then 6. So, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6. So, next one will be 2 fours are 8 and 2 fives are 10. Now it is not complete yet because we haven't used the alphabet yet. Now see A, B, C, D, then E, F. So next one will be G, H. Next one will be I, J. Okay. Next 7, 14, 21. Also you have to understand the pattern. So you can easily see that it is a table of 7. 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14, 7 threes are 21. So next one will be 7 fours are 28, 7 fives are 35. Next, 100, 200, 300. So next one will be, yes, it's very easy. Next one will be 400. And the very next one will be 500. Next. See here, it is a very interesting pattern. Here it is, we are using smile or smiley. So first one is a happy smiley, then the sad, then again happy. So next one will be sad. But you don't be sad, okay? Next one will be happy. Okay, next. 9Z. 18y 27x again we have seen that there is a pattern which consists both number and alphabet so at first we will see the numbers how the numbers are increasing so see 9 then 18 then 27 can you say what type of pattern it is yes it's a table of 9 9 ones are 9 9 twos are 18 9 threes are 27 so next one will be 9 fours are 36. 9 fives are 45. And see the num alphabets. Z before that Y before that X. So it will be W and before W V. Okay. So these are the patterns. Okay. So the next one is number tower. Number tower we already have discussed. So here we will again see. See. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Here 30 is given. Why 30? Because 10 plus 20, 30. Next, 20 plus 30, 50. So here what will be? We have to add 30 and 40. 30 plus 40, what will be? 70. So we will write down here 70. Next, 50 and 40. 50 and 40, if we will add, what we will get? Yes, 50 plus 40, 90. So we will write here 90. Next, we 
again have to add this one and this one and we will get here. So, 30 plus 50, how much? 80. Next, 50 plus 70, how much? 120. So, we will write here 120. 90 plus 70, how much? 160. So, we will write here 160. Next, again we will add this one and this one. 80 and 120. How much? 200. We will write here 200. So, 120 and 160. How much? 280. We will write here 280. Then, 200 and 280. How much? 480. So, we will write here 480. So, this is our number tower. Okay. So, next magic patterns. Magic patterns. Here you can see a pattern is given. It is a shape of a square. Here, fill in the circles. That means, these circles you have to fill. Use numbers from 1 to 9. You can use numbers from 1 to 9. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you can use one number, only one at a time. And each line will add up to 50. That means this line, when you will add, it will add up to 15. This line, when you will add, it will add up to 15. Similarly, in this type of, when this line you will add, it will add up to 15. So, now we will see how to solve this type of magic patterns. Okay? See, there are some rules when you will do the magic patterns. So, at first see, we can use numbers from 1 to 9. That means at first we will write down the ways to get some to 15. Uh, I mean when you will how to add the numbers so that you can get 15. So if you will add in this way 1 plus 5 plus 9 you will get 15. 1 plus 6 plus 8 you will get 15. 2 plus 4 plus 9 you will get 15. 2 plus 5 plus 8 you will get 15. 2 plus 6 plus 7, you will get 15. 3 plus 4 plus 8, you will get 15. 3 plus 5 plus 7, you will get 15. 4 plus 5 plus 6, you will get 15. Only these are the 8 ways by which you can get 15. Other than this way, other than these 8 ways, no other ways are there to get 15. When you will use 3 numbers and no numbers will repeat. Okay. So when you will solve this type of magic patterns or magic square, you have to follow these three rules. It will be very easier for you then. The rules are the center square has to be 5. Whenever you will solve this type of magic square or magic pattern, at first, without any doubt, you just put 5 in the center. Okay, every time, it, you will put 5 in the center. The corners will be even numbers. That means which are the corners? This, this, this and this. These are the corners. These corners will always be even numbers. Even numbers means from 1 to 9. Which are the even numbers? 2, 4, 6, 8. Or the way you will place every time corners will be occupied by even numbers. And the edges. Which are the edges? This one. This one are the edges. The edges will always be odd numbers. Which are our odd numbers from 1 to 9? 1, 3, 5 and 7. Every time you will place odd number in the edge portion. Okay. So now let's start. If I will place 5 here, let's place any odd number at edge. Suppose I am placing 1 here because 1 is what? Odd number and this is the edge. So I place here 1. Now if I place 1 here and 5, what will be here? Let's see. 1 plus 5 plus 9. We can use this one. So here it will be 9. Okay. Now if I will place 9 here, let us sub when I will place 1 and 9 Two odd numbers we have placed. Now remaining odd numbers are 3 and 7. Make sure 3 and 7 will also be in the edge portion. So here we can place 3 and here we can place 7. So all the odd numbers we have placed in the edge portion. Now remaining are the even numbers. So now you can see what even numbers we will place. Okay, so what even number we will place here? Suppose we place here 2. Okay, so... 2 and 7 we have used. Let's see what numbers we can use. Uh, check from here. This we can use. See 2, and 2 plus 6 plus 7. Already we have placed 2 and 7. So we can place 6. We will place here 6. 
Okay, it's very easy. Now we will see here we have placed 1 and 6 already. So what number we can place here? Let's find out. We can use this one. See, 1 plus 6 plus 8. That means only 8 is remaining and we will put here 8. Okay, next 8 and 3. 1 is left. So what will be here? 8 plus 3. What else is left? 4 is left. So we will place here 4. Now see, every line, 8 plus 1 plus 6, 15, 3 plus 5 plus 7, 15, 4 plus 9 plus 2, 15. And this line also, 8 plus 3 plus 4, 15, 1 plus 5 plus 9, 15, 6 plus 7 plus 2, 15, again 15. So whatever the ways we will do, it will end up to 15 only. Okay, next one, another one we will do here. This is also the magic rule. We will use the same numbers, but the arrangement of the numbers will be different. Okay, so, uh, but the foremost rule is the center square has to be 5. So, center we will place 5. Okay, now suppose we place here 1. Because 1 is odd number and it should be on the edge, we place here 1. So, automatically, this will be 9 because 9, 5 and 1 will be in one line. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. Okay. Suppose we place here 3. Then here it will be automatically 7 because 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. This done. Only left with even numbers. So, suppose we place here 2. Okay. So, what even number we will place here? We What even number we will place here? We will see. Let's see. 2 plus 9 we have done. So, left is 2 plus 9, 11. Okay. So, to make it 15, we need 4. So, we will place here 4. Okay. Then, 4 plus 3. We have already done 4 plus 3. And what even numbers we will place here to make it 15? Yes. 8. So, done. 4 plus 3 plus 8. So, only even number that is left is 6. We will place here done so up to this in this way you can make magic pattern or magic square many magic square and many magic pattern you will you can make by using this three rule it will be it is very helpful for you to make magic patterns or magic square up to this you will practice at home and the, uh, in the next video we will carry forward with the next discussion thank you